What's up, you stinky individuals, and welcome back to Luigi's Mansion 3. Ah, ah, ah. Last time we played this, we explored the mall and saw a bit of what it had to offer. And this time we're gonna finish and kill Paul Blart. We're gonna kill Paul Blart. We're gonna kill him. Uh, or I guess, kill him again. Also, I wanted to test something. So that's plunger. Oh! <gasps> The gobbledygoo. No. Why would you do that? So mean. Bruh. Well, you already knew how that worked, so we're not gonna explain that anymore. We already know how the cash, or how the, the spirit works. Am I gonna get anything for this? Does not seem likely. Hmm. I guess not. Oh well. Let's just take the time to just just get rid of everything. You know, just get rid of everything. There doesn't seem to be any uh oh me and my big mouth. It's a secret oh, for rats. It's a rat. Let's get rid of these rats. Oh, and the gold rat. Oh, come on. Did I miss it? Yeah. Ooh, well dang. You get plenty of money. As long as I don't invest in the shop, I should be good with the uh, investment of money. But also, that rat did point out to us how to get to this, uh, this secret kitchen. Not really secret, but you know. The money, the money mocha maker. Anything? Got some cash. What's in here? Bar. It's a bar. Nope, nothing there. Whoa. Can we open the fridge? <gasps> oh! Gold ghost. He's a goldy ghost. One, two, three, four, five. Quickly suck up the moolah. And then we'll take you. And one last coach do One, two, three, four. I meant to do five. God dang. And let's kind of, yep. Okay, we got the boar. We got the boars. And we we took the google, the google, the ghostly gamer. Let's get rid of all of this mooly mooly moolah. Give me all your cash. <laughs> Kanye West, he likes fingers in his booty. You can't say ass, otherwise you're gonna get age restriction. Aw, oh, man. I did, I said the thing. Aw, oh, man. Ugh. How am I gonna make money off of YouTube now? Ugh. Hate to see it. It's the Saints Row cash register. The Saints can't lose. Wow. <gasps> oh, there are sunglasses out of nowhere. Ooh. Oh. <gasps> and now, if we try and do it, hey, the glasses do nothing. So you know what we have to do. First you suck, then you flash, and then you suck again to do the one, two, three, four. Oh. Suck. 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 And then once again, suck, flash, suck. Come here. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, come on. That's baloney. Oh, you suck. <laughs> Oh. Come here, Mr. Ghost. One, two, three, four. And we broke the table. Huh. Just not even a yes. It's just very silent. Uh, but Guiji's silent but deadly. We know that. If anyone's played D&D &D before, you know just how dangerous the gelatinous cube is. You never want to leave that thing out of your sight. Oh. Hey. Oh, that was a big monster sound. Look at that. Okay, let's actually go. Oh no. 
uh, escalator. <gasps> How are we gonna get in there? That's where we need to be for the key. Man, I wonder what we have to do. Maybe go up the escalator? How about we... Look at us. We're so cool. Are we just gonna break the rules? I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up the down escalator. Yeah. I can do it. I'm just that cool. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just that cool. And if only I remembered what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I wish this was a, a joke, but it is not. I don't... I don't... There's... Can't... Oh. Oh, uh, no. Let's break the glass! Break the glass! Kick some ass! <gasps> oh. Okay. Well. If only I rem... Oh, wait! Yeah, I was right. So we get one up here. Ouija does not matter. And we do this. We're gonna open the gate. We got it. What's gonna work? Teamwork. What's gonna work? Okay, so wait. Guiji can pass through the gate. But for some reason, the key can as well. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That, uh, that, that's a little weird. Uh, do we get anything if we spin the chair? Oh, we can raise it high in the sky. But I don't want to raise it low to the flow. No, that's not, that's not what we're here to do. We're here to raise chairs, I guess. And hell. We're here to raise chairs and we're here to raise hell. As we all know, Ecat is just uh, secretly just stupid nefarious and he's just here to just take over the world. Everyone knows this. It's basic Mario lore. Oh, wow. Spider. Yes, I do. Don't wanna, don't wanna mess with these guys. They're eight-legged individuals. They are very scary. Nothing here. How about we open the sink? Are there spiders gonna be coming out of the sink, too? No. So, it seems that there is a vent system that I'm missing. No? Hmm. Well, I'm missing something. But, like, there's an obvious, like, gate there that I can get into. Oh, do I have to... Oh. Oh. Hmm. There has to be a way for me to get up there. What's the point of me, uh... Being here, then? There's nothing here for me. Ah. You silly sausage. You thought you could surprise me. But you can't. Here's my key of clubs. Give me the key to your heart. Oh, it's a star. That works too. Star key. You know what? You know what? That, that works as well. Okay, which gobbly goose? Oh, no. No gobbly go. No gooly gobbly. No gobbly gooly. No ghoulie mcgobbly gobble ghouly. Nothing. No secret grates. Nothing. Game. What? This is not like you, game. Normally you throw a new ghost for me by now. Ah. Uh, well, me and my big mouth. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, well, I don't know what they expected. Let's go up the escalator. Oh. Oh? Okay, never mind. Uh, let's go up this escalator. Uh oh. Oh, we're so close. We're so close. Oh, man. Oh, come on, Luigi. You got it. No, no. Oh, ooh. Real talk, though. If that actually happened to you, that would hurt. What? What? <gasps> Hello, I am the go. I am the big, the big mostly ghost. Here's Big Red Man. I don't know their actual ghost names, so don't at, at me, Twitter. Uh, but oh, oh, I didn't know you'd do that, silly man. Yep. You. The whole point of these ghosts is you have to shine them and get right behind them. In order to, to, in order to suck, sucky suck, and do the most damage. Where are you? 
Oh. Got shit. Got he. No, no, come here. One, two, three. Aw, oh, and I broke the, the thing. The ghostly ghouly uh, garbage the can thing. Oh! <gasps> he was quite an aggressive one, wasn't he? I'm surprised you were able to catch him. It'll be a big help to my research, though. Keep up the good work, okay? <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Night-night. 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 So we saw a grate from up here somewhere. Now, the real question is, how do we get to there? There's a real question here that we're always going to see. Seriously, though, I want to... I know there was a grate up there, and I saw the grate. Can you squeeze through here? Oh... Oh. Huh. Will I die if I... No, I will not. <gasps> Secret! I'm so smart and cool and awesome. Kanye West, he likes fingers in his bum. Okay, let's see what's in here. Oh! <gasps> Go! Bars! 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 Nice. 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 Uh, there's no way out. Help me. Help, I'm on the stairs. I can't actually get up. Hmm. What do they expect for me to do? Oh, probably that. Oh, okay, bye-bye. Let's, uh, let's, uh, go. Let's, uh, go into the next uh, area. Well, now I wonder. Oh. I can go this way, too. Oh, Guiji could not have gone there because there is what there. Let's see what's in here. Oh, <gasps> this is the area I thought of. I was wondering where this where this area was. Can we do anything? Wow. Nothing with the chandelier, the chandelier. Nothing happens if we like level it up to 51 dusk stone. Nothing. That's a bad Pokemon. Oh, <gasps> coins is. And a big red ruby. So that's... That's it. That's... I mean, that's all the areas... Hmm. We still haven't figured out what to do for the female bathroom. Still have not figured that out yet. Um... We just know... Man, I'm, I'm still stumped by this. I'm... I'm... Oh! Wait a second. Oh, it's a secret. The secret grape that you can only see by a mirror. Oh, don't hurt Luigi, that's mean. Do not hurt my father like that. It's Luigi talking, I guess. Even though I think I gave him a, a unique voice for the, the last episode. I need to stop doing that because then I forget and then there's no continuity. And we all know that this channel is known for its continuity. Isn't that right, Editing Hank? Yeah, I know your new text box. Yeah, I see it. You're, uh, you're... You changing editing styles mid-episodes. Mid I, I see it. Don't act like I don't. I see through your little, your little ploys, your little, your little tricks. Hi, hi, yeah. I know, I know you. I am you. I'm you, but just, like, slightly younger. Oh! Another big red ruby. Meaning there's one more to get, so probably it's going to be in the area where the the boss ghost is. Can I please? Thank you. Bars, 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 bars! It's awesome. Uh, can I get the toilet paper? Yeah. Screw your toilet paper. It's not COVID time anymore. We can... We don't have to worry about saving our toilet paper anymore. So let's get rid of it all. Almost have everything in this area. Unless we're unless this last one requires the last ability that we do not have unlocked yet, I think we should be able to get all of these gems by the end of the episode. And then also, I missed an area of backtracking. If you guys remember floor five, where we uh, saw the maid, I forgot to go on the other side where we needed that manpower that I talked about. So we are definitely gonna be, we're definitely gonna be fixing that mistake after we finish off this boss ghost and I guess this floor. Is there anything here? I know there was a vending machine, but I just want to make sure.
Okay, Paul Blart. The jig is up. The jig is up, Mr. Blart. We will we will not stand for your tyranny anymore. Oh. Paul Blart. Paul Blart. Just putting on the sunglasses, Paul Blart. Oh. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Paul Blart. Paul Blart. How does he feel playing? Because he's a ghost, Paul Blart. He's got it. He's got that fucking good. Look at that. Look at him. Uh, can I pull on this? Okay, that's got some parts. Parts of heart. You can't do anything to me. Water gun do nothing on Loogie. Haha. -ha. I have. Hey, hey, you stupid ghost. I am not. I am not weak to water. That'd be awful if someone in my team was weak to water, wouldn't it? Oh man, that would really suck it. Couldn't guess. Gooigi. Oh, come here. Give me your glasses, loser. Come here! Get over here. One, two, three, four, five. Suck it, Mr. Man. Oh, look at all this trash. Oh my gosh, you need to keep this place tidy. Uh oh. Oh, he reloaded. Oh, wait. Ah! Hey, fucking died. I don't know how loud that was, and I feel bad. I feel like I peaked the mic doing that. Okay, Mr. Man, sunglasses. Give it, give it, give me. No, give me. Give it. No. No, your Mr. Man glasses aren't gonna save you now. No, give it. Give me your glasses. <laughs> and one more time. One, two, three, four, five. He's got two HP. We are gonna surely get him the next time. Also, let's uh, get rid of these banana peels. Oh, what? What? Okay, I feel like that time you really made me die. So that wasn't nice. No, give me your glasses, bro. Bro, give me your glasses, bro. Hello. Goodbye. Oh, God, he's a big bulbous boy. There we go. Wow! Also, if you couldn't tell, Luigi has much less health than the regular Luigi. But at the same time, you can always respawn him. So I guess that's the whole takeaway from, uh... So when you're playing together, uh, second player would, would take Gooigi. And I found out, uh, because I played the, uh, when I played this my first time. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh. I did it! I did it! I did it! It was all me, Gooigi! Nah, seriously though, I guess, I guess the whole point is, like, Luigi, like, Egad put Luigi's conscience inside Gooigi, and that's how... Like, he has to control Gooigi himself with some, like, weird telepathic ability. I don't know. Gu I mean, Luigi isn't wrong. He did do it. At least that's my, uh, headcanon is that Luigi did do it. Luigi did win. Luigi win. Uh, small nod to Mario Party 8. The best Mario Party. I don't care what you Game Boy fanboys say. Oh, what? All this cash. Stuck in the wall. Um, I love Mario Party 8. My gosh, I love it so much. It's because I was born and raised on the Wii, so I love motion controls. That's actually like my preferred way to play Skyrim, is on the Switch using motion controls because the bugs are really funny. Some tells me the next big red ruby is not going to show up unless uh, unless we move out of the floor. It's a little stink rooney but still. Oh, wait. No. I... Well, what did it want me to... Oh. Oh. Use a little bit of a musical instrument. Apples in and earn. Just kind of smash through everything. Come on, there's a whoa. Does that happen? No, that just weirdly. <laughs> what the heck? That's weird. Let's clean up this mess for the people. Because I'm assuming we're just going to give this hotel to someone else that really needs it afterwards, right? 
Like, why would we need this? Like, after this, someone's gonna have to clean up the hotel. It just happened to be a man made out of literal jello. Come here. Crack a lacking. Nothing. Really? Nothing, huh? Just, just nothing. That is weird. Something tells me we're gonna have to come back here at a later date. Oh, gosh. No, come on, Luigi. You got it. My bad. Keep forgetting to do it, but you know what? Okay, get, get it. Gu Guigi, Guigi. Okay. There you go, Guigi. Just couldn't make a sharp turn because you're made out of literal a goo, goopy goop. A little gamer goop. Bye bye. Oh, look. I did it. I did it. Luigi win. <laughs> Luigi win. I'm the real ghost master. I'm, I'm so proud of you, Luigi. I'm s I, all I've wanted for you is to succeed. Kanye West, he likes fingers in his ass. <laughs> I can't get it out of my head now, and I hate it, but also love it at the same time. Okay, it's time to- Oh! You sneaky motherfucker! Is this the last one? Is this the last one? It's money. It's a lot of money. Okay, it's a lot of money, but where's the big red ruby? What the? Okay, so there's a gate. Huh. I don't know. Where's my big red ruby? Okay. What the? Wait, so there obviously is more to that room. What? Okay, wait. There's obviously more to that room. What? Can I not go further in? It really seems like I can. It really makes it look like you can. Huh. Okay, well, there's one more gem. I mean, I'm sorry, big red ruby. There's only one more big red ruby to find. The real question is, where is that big red ruby? I don't know. I really don't know. Oh man, that's gonna suck. Okay, I think it'll be in that other room after we uh, after we move out of it. Oh well. Okay, time to put in the elevator button myself because I can totally do it. Okay. Oh, uh, what? That happened? What? How did, how did that happen? How, I don't understand how that even occurred in the first place. Luigi, the elevator can take you directly to lobby 2B, or 2F. Might as well head that way and check it out, I say. The mezzanine. The mezzanine. I don't remember what this is. Uh-oh. How unfortunate. Uh-oh. How unfortunate. I'm gonna do a sneaky thing. And shout for Mario while running in a ring. I did it. I saved it. I saved it. And I know that was such a good recovery of what I tried to do. How many gems do we actually have in floor 5? Not much. So we can we can actually clean this place out as well. While we're out here. Okay. So. What we had to do for Luigi is to do this. And then have Luigi... Pull as well, and... Only the joint powers of Luigi and the Gamer Goo. Can he, uh... I don't know. Break open a couch? Okay, I think this was Peach's room, right? It must have been. Yeah, because look at all this luggage. We're gonna break all of it. Can I not break it? Uh, well, let's break open... And let's, uh, I guess we can, I can, I can chat a bit. So, uh, I guess as of now, as of recording, which is like in, uh, September, around September, I am still playing through Saints Row 3. And it is so much fun. I am enjoying it a lot. Such a good game. Um, I, I don't think I said this last time, but, uh, very heavily inspired by Tom Fox. I think I've, I think I've said that, but, um, no, uh, really... His content has been one of my biggest inspirations, him and Proton John. I've already said it, um, and most likely when, uh, when, when I say them, editing Hank, that lovely little fellow, he will, 
uh, put them up on the screen because I know I know myself pretty well. Um, yeah, just man, the, he played uh, he played Saints Row 2, and it was a really fun series to watch. I, I really enjoyed it, and so um, I I just really enjoyed it. That's really ah oh oh, 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 oh. so scary. No. Um, but he played Saints Row 2, and so he got me into the series to, to play Saints Row 3, and I loved it. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, so it, it got me into the series of Sa Big Red Ruby. We actually need one more. It's way less than I thought we would need. That's awesome. Um, but, yeah, it's just, I don't know, Tom's just awesome. <laughs> Tom's just an awesome guy, and he, and so when he, when he played Saints Row 2, I was like, oh, Saints Row 3, $30. Absolutely, I'll play it. And I did. And that's what I did. And so, I have been loving the crap out of it. It's a really good game. Highly recommend you play it, those who, uh... Who have not already. That's what I recommend. It's a really good game. Um, there's a lot of... It recycles a lot of content from the second game. But if you haven't played the second game before, it's really good. Even, even as someone who's seen everything the second game had to offer thanks to Tom... I still greatly enjoy 3, and I feel like uh, I, I've invested heavily into the pistols, and like not even like any fancy pistols that you probably get later in the game, like the main pistols that you start off in the game. Um, these pistols have... just make sure I didn't miss anything... Okay, um, the main pistols, if they're fully upgraded, have exploding bullets. And you would not understand how powerful those things are unless you see it for yourself. The game is so much fun. Uh, it's just like just investing in exploding bullets for my dual wielding pistols because I, I played all the DLC before actually getting into the main story. And so like playing like the Genki Bowl and the trouble with clones and that was just, ugh, it's so much fun. It's a fun game, especially if you like GTA and you want like a nice like change of pace with the formula. Highly recommend you check it out. It is such a good game. Cannot recommend it enough. I'll, I'll probably, when I finish it, I'll probably make a uh, mini review about it, or shorts review. Because um, I really like it, but that's only going to happen when I see the credits roll. And that that's my mantra with, like, any of the games that I play. Um, I would also say, um, speaking of the mini reviews, uh, at least as I'm recording, I'll probably have it actually implemented by the time that, uh, by by the time that they uh, upload um or but like by the time this episode comes out it'll probably already be set in motion but um before me me actually even considering it um i wonder if i should do a uh what happened i don't know i don't know what happened um but I, i'm i'm thinking i'm thinking a tad and i am wondering if i should do scores like review scores for the mini reviews now, I'm not going to do anything, like, t out of 10. I'm thinking literally, like, out of 5, right? So, like, with the review scores being, like, 1 out of 5 being, like, just terrible. And then 2 out of 5 being, like, it was, like, it was just, like, it wasn't the worst, but it was, like, it was still bad. 3 out of 5 is, like, the meh, like, middle ground. I didn't feel, like, too strongly one way or another. And 4 out of 5 being, like, I it was good. Could be better, though. And then 5 out of 5 being, I love this game so much, and you should totally play it. Like, I can't recommend it enough. Like, that kind of review score. I think that would be kind of cool. And it's just, like, way simpler in terms of it. And so, uh, if, you, if you're interested in that, or... I, I guess it's, like, at the same time, I can't really be like, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below, because most likely I'll already have done it. So, I've got no clue, because... If y'all couldn't tell, these start in August, so this is like almost two months of, uh, two months behind on when these episodes actually come out. And you know what, that's fine. It helps me be able to finish the series and keep a consistent schedule and still have like a good amount of backlog if I do have those like busy weeks of not being able to record at all. Because that's very real and it can happen because I'm a college student. And, ugh, it's just, yeah, whatever, bro. You know what? Whatever. We're, we're just going to deal with that. Also, I, I, I'm thinking of doing uh, doing uh, Let's Plays or at least like first looks on demos. And so thinking about it, um, because I haven't done it yet, if I have done it before recording, sorry. 
Um, but I'm seriously considering doing the WarioWare demo. I don't plan on ever uh, playing WarioWare when it actually comes out, because it has not come out yet as of recording. But man, that would be pretty cool. That would be fun to to play around a bit and uh, to see what it's like. Because it, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm pretty interested. Uh, can we break through that? Nothing there. Can I not go through? Okay. Bye bye. Night night. Night night. But whatever. Cleaned up Mario's room. He packed nothing apparently. My man's decided to travel light. That's fine though. I guess that's okay. Um, but yeah, just, I don't know, just some thoughts on the channel, because I like to do that. I like giving, uh, I guess, I, I like talking about the channel, and I don't get to do it often with people. I used to do it with my friends all the time, but now that I'm farther away from them, I, it's hard for me to, to talk. I'm still, like, always, I think the passion for the channel is still there, without a doubt it's still there, but, I don't know, ah! Uh, it's just, I, I don't know, it's, it's great to talk about this kind of stuff. I, at least I think so. Oh, so what? Oh. Also, there's something in, there's something? Nah. There's a heart. Oh, that's where it went. I left it in my bed. Stupid. Uh, can I take my, it's my stuff. Can I have it? No. The luggage will stay here forever. That's so scary, guys! See what's in here? Oh! It's a bathroom! Oh my god! I don't get why the gold's invisible, but you know what? Whatever. Right? Invisible bars! Invisible bars, invisible bars, invisible golden bars. Anything else around here? No. Let's see what's in the toilet. Ah! That was scary. Um, also, I think I know where the, that last gem is. So if you remember the editor's note that I put in for the episode that we actually, I think it was episode three, where we went through this floor. So I guess, uh, go watch episode 3 if you haven't already. I'm surprised you're watching episode 5 and not starting from the beginning. What are you doing? Oh, <gasps> scaries. Um, but, I, hey, dude, there's a secret that I talked about. I think episode 3, I think episode 3 was where I started using the uh, Luigi's Mansion text boxes. And can I just say, I know it's a little weird to promote that, but, like, I cannot explain how happy I was to actually be able to do that. I just, it's so, like, that was just awesome, being able to replicate the, uh, replicate the style of the original Luigi's Mansion. I just thought that was kind of cool. Also, can't tell when you revisit a floor to, to get the gems, just so that, you know, you're just not going through a boring old room. You actually get to, uh, they, they put in ghosts for you to fight. And I think that's awesome. I think that's really cool. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, mister. Also, if you even try to redo the... One second. Oh, I got a last second. Um, here, I'll, I'll show it off here. Just, I gotta... Gotta wait for him. Come here, Mr. Ghost. Mr. Ghostly Man. Where are you? You're here somewhere. You here somewhere? Where are you? What? I hear you. I don't know where you are, though. Where the heck are you? Oh, there you are. Uh oh. Ah! So, yeah. so he always flashes to the direction you're pointing. So you have to hurry as fast as you can to get that uh that second uh or to to get him sucky suckied up. Where are you? Where are you? Wow, that was kind of cool. Um, I think the area that we need to go to to get the big red ruby is... Gosh, dang it. Okay, this. Ah! Oh. Nice. I think it's this room. Is it this room? No, it's not. It's the Mario Golf room. 
Uh, ba -ba 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 I think it was this one. I think this is where the location of our last big red ruby is. Yes, it is. Uh, cool. So, I, so, figuring it out, remember what we learned from the mall in the last episode where you can use these to slam? Slam it to hit the bed! And, if my game theory is correct, we can use it to hit this. Oh. Okay, I figured out what you need to do. So, room 502, it's Mario's room. So if you guys remember that little faucet area that we found, what you had to do is, if you guys remember the little area, so if we go down here, goopy goopy down down, you see that there's this little uh, faucet thing here. Well, apparently there's also something you can do. If you blow this bathtub, you can actually change it so the shower fills the tub, opens this package, use the suction shot, and there's the big red ruby, and that's all of them in room five. So I'm terribly sorry about that. Of course, how was I supposed to figure that out when trying to, uh, to go through everything? But hey, that is where all of the big red rubies are in room, f in row five. So actually this time, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching if you are watching this when it releases, because at the time I am a pretty small channel. So watching you guys support the channel and watching the video and subscribing, it means a lot to me. So thank you so much for that. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode next week. So until then, uh, yeah. Bye-bye.